The Queensland Environment Department alleges the toxic gas is leaking through underground pathways, polluting a massive area of subsoil two to six metres below where I'm standing. For months, more than 100 investigators and workers have been crawling over farms and properties at Hopeland. They've uncovered dangerous levels of carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulphide, as well as hydrogen and methane at explosive levels. We've put in place uh, what we've called a caution zone um, of approximately 320 square kilometres outside of the link site itself. The Link Energy Project was always controversial. Pioneered by the Soviet Union, underground coal gasification, or UCG, has rarely gone further than the trial stage anywhere in the world. Unlike coal seam gas extraction, UCG involves the burning of subterranean coal seams to convert the coal into a synthesis gas or syngas a mixture consisting primarily of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. They willfully and knowingly undertook the operation and they knowingly knew that this could lead to catastrophic events. The ignition of underground coal seams continued over a 14-year period. Link Energy denies it intentionally exposed workers to gas or covered up health concerns. But for company executives, the stakes are high. Each charge has its own penalties and it could be up to $5 million or, or a jail sentence at the top end. There is the possibility someone could go to jail? Um, there is a possibility of that, yes, certainly within these very serious charges, that is correct. 